Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Moving Outdoors. Today I'm going to give you guys a review of Icicle Portable Freezer Slash Fridge. So here's my fillet to link out, and it's going to go into my Icicle portable freezer so this guy is a 30 liters uh, 31 quarts a capacity portable freezer slash uh, fridge made by Icico uh, the model number is JP30 and uh, let me show you what it comes in the box obviously you get your portable freezer and you get your insulated cover so it will protect the freezer uh, from the UV rays and also gives you, gives a little more insulation so the compressor runs less uh, so which means you save power obviously you get your 12 volt power cable 12 volt power cable extension and uh, you get your 10 one 10 volt uh, power cable that you can plug it into the wall socket wall outlet so I started looking into portable freezer like this for a while and uh, after doing an extensive research I contacted Icicle uh, and asked them if they will send me one uh, for me to test it out and do a review video so for a long time I was really really tired of buying ice two three years ago I was religiously going fishing every week couple times a week and almost every time I had to buy a bag of ice one year I ended up spending over $500 just on ice I kind of went away from buying ice and I started carrying frozen water bottle like this uh, around 8 to 10 of them and it works okay um, there's some downside to it the downside was you know I takes me two to three hours to get to the salt and I spent six to eight hours on the water and by the time depends on the uh, outside temperature obviously it's gonna sit in my car you know you had you get the green uh, greenhouse effect in the car it gets much warmer than the uh, actual outside and about you know depends on the weather you get about you know, 15 to 25 percent of the ice melt so problem with these guys is once it start melting the contact temperature drops significantly it doesn't feel that icy cold on the outside anymore because of the plastic it works pretty decent most of the time but especially when I'm doing a multi-day trip uh, or when I'm getting to the, my fishing spot the night before uh, because it's so far away by the time I get off the water it's like quarter way to halfway melt and this doesn't feel cold so I still ended up you know, buying ice um, so I wanted to keep my frozen water bottles icy cold like solid well below freezing temperature so that's why I started looking for uh, one of these uh, portable freezer and uh, and plus uh, if you choose to if you are uh, someone who flays the fish on shore uh, before you come home this will be an excellent option uh, last time I had a multi-day trip uh, I was kayak fishing one day and I was not coming back home but I was fishing on the boat the next day so I had a lot of fish volume wise that I couldn't fit in this cooler uh, so I basically flay the fish and freeze it by using this uh, portable freezer so that worked out really good so if you are someone who's flaying fish at the shore before you come home this is an excellent excellent choice in my opinion after mu much extended uh, research looking at different brands different models I decided that this will fit me the best because I wanted something portable not too big uh, those of you who know, I drive a subcompact car when I go kayak fishing, so I don't have a lot of space. And why do I drive a subcompact car? 
is because, like I said, I live like two to three hours away from the salt, and my salt compact car gets 36 pounds per gallon with the kayak on top. So I want something that is portable yet has enough capacity uh, for me to have frozen bottles and drinks and especially when I go camping, I want something that has enough capacity uh, for my food uh, in the fridge or freezer. So I thought this was the perfect model for me. And also, there are other very affordable portable freezers out there. This one retails at 500 and something that is similar size, uh, different brands will offer 300 uh, for the freezer. The biggest reason I thought this was the right choice for me was because of the compressor they use. So Icecore uses a uh, German-made compressor called uh, Danfoss. It's supposed to be very efficient, so it draws less power um, and it's long-lasting. Also, this is safely operatable at 40 degree angle, 40 degree tilt. So since it's using compressor, just like typical of freezer fridge, um, you cannot turn this completely sideways, you cannot turn this upside down. And plus the warranty on this compressor is five years. Uh, if you look at any other affordable freezer out there, the warranty on it is either one year or two years. I wanted something that will last long time and durable. After a few months of use, I really like it. The structure is solid. It's really solid. Every corner is strong and is solid. Oh, I forgot to mention the handle here. This is something that you have to assemble yourself. Very easy. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes to put these on. So if you take a look at inside, it comes with a little basket and it comes with the divider in the middle. So if you have a lot of different items in there, uh, you don't have to be digging through trying to find it. You can just pull out the basket and look at where it is, uh, which is very convenient. Oh, by the way, this is a single zone. Some portable freezer, they are dual zone, but something that is portable like this, kind of small. If you divide it up in half, I think I don't think you have enough space for either of the items a lot of times. But as you can see, you have your main compartment here and you have a little compartment here. This is pretty cool because this is a lesser cold compartment. So even if you are freezing everything in the freezer, let's say if you set your temperature to below freezing, uh, even if you have all the freezing items here, uh, this will not get as cold as the freezing. I can keep my all the water bottles frozen here, but I can still put, keep my drinks here and keep it nice and cold. And it comes with the uh, little blue light, so even in the dark, when you open it up, you have a light, you can see. So that you guys can see this better, let me remove the, the cover completely. So they say you can put up to 44 cans of 12 ounce soda can. Obviously it's going to be without the basket because basket itself takes some space. Uh, but was I able to test that? No, because I don't have 44 cans of soda uh, laying around. Um, but as far as the uh, water bottles go, uh, without the basket, I believe you can put more than 20 water bottles in here so it's got pretty good capacity for being uh, portable at the same time um, I got some water bottles in there but without anything I believe this weighs around 33 pounds uh, empty so I don't know how well you guys can see right now this is a control panel um, you can increase or decrease the temperature that you want to be set at and this is the power on and off and this gives you a max or equal mode so max mode is going to draw as much power that it needs to cool the unit the fastest with the max mode 
uh, it was gonna draw up to 60 watts per hour uh, but if you switch to echo mode so it's not gonna cool as fast as the max mode but it's gonna keep the freezer cool using a least amount of power so when you put the unit in the echo mode it draws around 33 watts and you can set your temperature all the way down to minus 8 degrees Fahrenheit and you can bring it up to whatever temperature you want 32 is going to be the, just the freezing temperature and right now it's sitting at 14 degrees so if you look at the side of the freezer you have your places to plug in your 12 volt at 110 and it's got a fuse right in the middle uh, which is very convenient for some reason if you have to replace the fuse it's, it's easily accessible and over here you have your battery 12 volt battery protection you can set it on high medium and low to protect your 12 volt car battery protect your car battery from depleting completely so at the low setting the unit was shut off when the car battery reaches 9.6 volt medium is going to be 10.1 volt and high is going to be 11.1 volt so that way you protect your car battery so you can start your car again so typically i run this unit uh, using my battery pack uh, this is a 600 watt hour battery pack from Upes. Um, i actually have a review video on this uh, uh, so check it out uh, if you like i'll leave that in the link in description so i really never plug this in directly to the car uh, what i do is i plug this into the battery pack and i uh, plug in the battery pack uh, to the car so on the eco mode uh, it draws uh, 33 watts uh, when the compressor is running when it's not running it doesn't draw any power at the max mode it draws around 60 watts the charge rate on this unit is like over 60 if I'm running my vehicle this gets charged more than uh, this unit draws so in actual life how much power does this draw um, it all depends on you know the temperature you're setting at all depends on the uh, temperature around the, the freezer to keep my frozen water bottle icy cold I typically set the temperature at around 20 it's gonna fluctuate few degrees below and few degrees high because uh, it doesn't really stay at one temperature uh, it's not designed that way I, I don't think any uh, freezer um, or fridge is designed that way. If you set it to 20 degrees, it will bring it down to a few degrees below 20 and the compressor will shut off and then as the temperature rises, again, few goes a few degrees over 20, compressor starts again and bring it down to a few degrees below 20. So the temperature you are setting at is pretty much the uh, average temperature uh, it's not going to be the exact science from my experience uh, some days are hotter than the other and uh, and for this fridge uh, to be plugged in and with the temperature setting of 20 which is well 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 below freezing uh, I was drawing about 20% uh, to 25% of a 600 watt hour battery so I was drawing around like you know 120 and 150 watt hours to keep my water bottles frozen ice cold frozen uh, in the car for around eight hours sometimes I fillet my fish and uh, put it in here and bring it home and but most of the time I use a frozen uh, water bottle I like to use at least eight but I think ten is like a perfect number of water bottles so I put half of the water bottle, either four or five water bottles first into the fish cooler and I put the fish on top of it and then I put the rest of the water bottles uh, in the fish cooler and zip it up and the fish stays nice and cold until I get home. It could be two hours, it could be three hours, four hours, five hours later. Fish is still very, very cold. Would I recommend this item? Yes, I completely recommend this item. Not having to buy your eyes 
almost every trip, still being able to keep your fish nice and cold uh, after you catch them on the dry, on the way home. If you are in an overnight trip, you can flay your fish and start the freezing process. This is a game changer. Like I said, there are more affordable units out there, which I'm actually um, trying out right now. But uh, with the more efficient compressor with the five years of warranty, even though this one costs a little more, I really like this unit because it's so durable, so solid. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.